Good morning, welcome to another vlog. Yes, I'm in a wheelchair and this is gonna be my first day out in a few days because my family can't be asked to push me around, which is fair enough. We are also walking the dog at the same time. Uh, never done this before. When you're wheeling someone in a wheelchair, you just have to look for the flat parts. Something I didn't realize is, yeah, how inaccessible a lot of places are. Oh Brighton's not too bad. No, you're doing great. Today we are heading down to the beach. Uh, might not make it then. <laughs> yeah, the amount of people that have been like, yeah, I saw you in a wheelchair, what's up? So I tore my ACL, like, what, two years ago, had my surgery a year ago. Um, and then I had the accident in February when I was doing a lot of running and my knee never recovered, so that's why I'm in a wheelchair. I'll put some fracture photos up on the screen so you can look at my lovely leg. Poiming sport, her rollerblades. So, roller blades or roller skates? So she's gonna try and push me while I'll roller skating and I Dim Sam is just gonna good. run along. No way, this is so good, isn't it, Dim Sam? So we have just got back in time for my French class. So I studied French at GCSE and I did an AS in French and I really loved it. I had such a good French teacher but then I stopped it of course when I came to uni. So I've been taking French on Lingoda and I've been doing my classes for the past week or two. On Lingoda you basically do group classes or a private class and they have a super sprint coming up on September 23rd where you can get 100% cash back if you do a class every day for three months. So if you're interested in learning French, Spanish, German English, business English, then click the link in my description to get 10 euros off your deposit, which will be refunded once you're completed. But be quick because I know a lot of the spots are limited. And all the teachers that I've had have been really nice. Some have been like cracking jokes and stuff in French, which has been quite cool. But the first lady I had, she was really nice on our class report. She did an individual, this is your report on Maying, and it was so nice. I showed it to all my friends and my sister. I was very proud of myself. Je suis allée une fois à Paris. In each class there was an average about three people and then one teacher, so it's very intimate. Je chantais avec uh, mon chorale, ma, ma chorale. Uh, désolé, c'est mon chien. <laughs> Dude, I get such a buzz after doing those classes because it's there's so much adrenaline and I've never done one one-on-one -on -one before so I can't hide behind someone else who knows what they're saying but I actually understood a lot of it. My sister also headed off to London so that's why she was like crawling up my room halfway through my class. It was really funny. <laughs> I've certainly worked up an appetite, so I'm going to go have some lunch. But I do have a meeting at one o'clock. So if you're a student from London, you might have heard of a company called Stint. They basically got in contact and asked if I wanted to be on their podcast. So I think that's going to be happening in the next week or so, but this will be the first time I'm chatting to them. Or not, we're on the topic of hustles, so whether you 
you know, discuss the kind of cash that you'd made from it or it's something else that I did want to ask you about as well. Um, so have you ever been put in situations, say, where companies or anyone's approached you to do things that you weren't necessarily comfortable with? Yeah. To be able to do that though and to do Good luck with the heat wave. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so we were speaking for about 50 minutes about what we're going to chat about. Nicole let me borrow her Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race. Very good book. I did a little bit of a review on my story the other day. I read half of it yesterday and I think I could probably finish the rest today. So I have a meeting with King's Business Club. Because of the pandemic, we will only be having seminars and tutorials at uni. No lectures, no societies, no clubs, no choir, sadly. Also, this means for King's Business Club that they will be hosting their events online. Even though I won't be at uni, I will hopefully still be doing some fun things online come September. This is one of my mum's kind bars and they're actually pretty good. So we're trying to learn how to um, live stream on the YouTube channel but the YouTube channel needs to be activated or something like that for 24 hours so we're gonna call tomorrow and try again and learn how to live stream with cool backgrounds. I just asked on an Instagram poll if it's okay to have more than one afternoon nap in an afternoon. Every night I lie on top of my covers I don't even get in and I'm still all sweaty and hot probably haven't been sleeping the best and hence why I'm so tired but I think taking out my contact lenses might help so I'm gonna go do that and then maybe nap maybe read maybe both Turns out Poiming's gonna be in London for dinner. On Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, there is the Eat In to Help Out initiative going on in the UK at the moment. Basically, where you get half price off all your food, up to 10 pounds off. We have a Sunosu just around the corner, which my dad and my sister got last week, and they said they really liked it. And it was six pounds for two, and of course, it's normally six pounds for one. So we're gonna go and get that for dinner, dad and I, which should be quite nice. that has been today's vlog i really hope you enjoyed it if you did do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel and i'll see you next week have a lovely day bye, bye.